through. Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the infinite Red Aura or K.O. Ken. Gamer Nom, what is the K.O. Ken or Red Aura? It is an aura. There you go. As you can see, my character has an aura around him. Guys, not like the other auras, this increases damage. But this aura has a time limit. Either you can activate it with only 10 seconds or the other way around. And it has a time limit of 20 seconds. So Gamer Nom. Uh, I've already watched a video doing that, guys. That is already patched. Okay, the one with the uh, perfect Susano, it's already patched. You cannot use it. So here, as you can see, I defeated tiers one to five without even losing this aura. What is the advantage of this game or not, guys? You can defeat or grind bosses or boosts easier. Easier, guys. Check this out. We're already in tier four. Just one combo. Spam all your skills, blah, blah, blah. Boom, dead. Tier 5, Gamer Gnome, the starter. No, guys, it's, it's easier. Gamer Gnome, I don't have the bloodline. It's okay, guys. This is just my favorite transformation. Aside from the red aura, you can use other transformations. Tier 5 done. Check this out. I, already, I still have the red aura, right? Now I activated Explosive Nova. You can even use other transformations. But, again... I use the bloodline because that's the strongest, okay? So here you go, Goku. As you can see, every player kill doubles your damage, okay? So every time you do that, you will activate the red aura. That's why they call this Kaioken because it first came out with this update with Goku. See that, guys? I'm timing it according to the description, 10 seconds. Let's check if it's true. As we all know, some of the uh, descriptions are not correct, right? See that? 10 seconds. Next stop. If you have this champion, Sasuke, you kill other players and your damage will increase by 80%. Not as strong as Goku, but check the duration. 20 seconds. Longer. Times 2, right? Times 2, duration. So let's check it out. Okay. Come on. We're going to time it. Why am I showing you this? Yes, again, I told you there are two ways to activate this red aura. So it was answered now. Goku and Sasuke. You need those two champions or, or just one to activate or do this trick. Okay, 20 seconds. The aura is gone. So now you're seeing how important this strategy is, right? You can maximize it if you want to, like, again, grind bosses, grind boosts, or new powers. Okay, so again, you need Gokuro or Sasuke to activate this. You can also use other transformations. That's the good thing with this. Again, my favorite is the Bloodline. And also, we don't have Eresis today. It's his vacation. We have Lobotit. Beast Titan. This is also a requirement. You need the shift. You need to shift to Titan form so that you can activate it. Again, shift to it. Activate or, or summon your champion. Again, choose from Goku or Sasuke. I suggest Goku. Even though it has a shorter time, again, this guide is to make it infinite. And it also doubles your damage compared to Sasuke's 80%, right? We're gonna time it if this is true. So after we kill this, the red aura is already activated, right? Okay, let's time it now. There you go. Again, if you use Goku, we only have like 10 seconds. Okay. 13, 14. If you reach 20, it's more than double the time. Which means our strategy is already activated. There you go, guys. More than 20 seconds. 280 damage. Guys, if you're wondering why does he keep on responding, this is a private server. That's an option if you have a private server. Did you see that? We used Explosive Nova, 490 damage. 491 and damage. Okay, so next up, um, let's try the other skill. Other transformation. Spring a limb. There you go. Okay, let's try it. Not bad, guys. Not bad. But again, we will we are going to stick with my favorite, which is the bloodline. X skill of the bloodline. Go check this damage. 
Oops, we're, we missed. Okay, it's 142, guys. <laughs> That's so OP. Now we are going to try it with the bosses. Dimensions 2, 3, 4, and 5. Tier 4s and 5. Okay? Okay, again, the requirements. You need Beast Titan, Z Shift, Bokro, or Sasuke. And that's it. Okay, so Dimension 2 boss. Broly, just spam your skills. Blah, 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 blah. Boom. <laughs> Tier 5, guys. Would it be harder? Again, I'm showing you this so that you can check that it, oh, it works with small bosses, big bosses, or super big bosses. Whatever. Dimension 3 boss. Kaido. Actually, guys, try to dodge the first one, the lightning, because before you even kill it, you might die, okay? There you go. We're good to go. It's okay to tank the laser, but I think the lightning is harder. There you go. Tier 5. <clears throat> Again, take note, we still have the red aura activated. Oh, if you change dimensions, you need to activate it again, okay? Okay. Boom. Tier 4. I mean, Dimension 4. Oh, the dog is hungry. Okay. Tier 5. And after this, the Beast Titan. Question gamer now, can you use this on Inferno boss or Carrot boss? No guys, sorry. My bad. Cannot use that strategy on those boss because you will be teleported in a new dimension. Again, if you are teleported in a new dimension, this strategy will reset. You cannot kill anyone in the boss dimensions. That's sad. Okay, so for the last part, the tier 5. There you go. One combo? Yeah, for sure. Okay, guys. So that will be it. We've defeated all bosses. Tiers 1 to 5. You can do that with just one combo. Gamer Nom, why did you make a video of this? They will patch this, guys. Guys, that's why there are updates. They're gonna patch everything. Glitches, bugs. So as long as this is uh, good to use, make sure to use it. Okay? Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!